Hey, what's going on guys? It's Steve with the cell syndicate.com. And on today's video, we're going to go over the four distinct differences inside of the sales process that you must understand if you're selling coaching, consulting, or agency services in order to close more deals. And one of these things, shockingly enough, if you improve this one thing, it's going to actually help you to drastically improve your overall closing and converting rate. And it's not actually closing. So Stay with me to the very end, you guys, and take down some notes. And as always, write down comments so I can shoot additional videos for you in the future. And let's jump into it. Okay, guys, so let's go over the four major differences inside of the actual sales processes that I have found oftentimes people misunderstand as far as the actual processes. Selling is everything that actually happens up until the point that you actually talk about price. Number two, closing is everything that actually happens after you've given the customer or prospect an actual price for your services and products. Now, obstacles are everything that ends up happening after you've given the prospect price where they're giving you obstacles as to why they may or may not actually purchase that you have to overcome selling your services or products and trying to get them to close or convert. Obstacles are everything that ends up happening prior to you getting into the price of your products or services. So in order for you to be able to close more deals, you wanna focus on the first part of your sales presentation on the obstacles. So let's talk about what some of those obstacles actually are so that you can better identify them. Number one, making sure that all the decision makers of who's a part of obviously the transaction are a part of the conversation. If you're pitching some sort of coaching services or products and they're doing this with their spouse or their husband or partner or whatever it may be, you want them a part of the process because the reality is, is oftentimes people have to have buy-in from their significant other before making financial decisions. So that is an obstacle, number one. Number two, the second obstacle that you'll oftentimes come up against is do they actually have the financial resources to be able to purchase your services or products? There's questions that you can answer to dive in and find out about their financial situation and if they're a good fit for them to actually purchase your product or for you to even offer them your services and products about their financial situation prior to even giving them the pricing that will allow you to judge whether or not this is a good prospect for us to even work with as a business. Number three, a belief in your services or products. I had an experience the other day where some of the gentleman got on and he was talking about all of the negative experiences that he had had with a service-based business similar to the one that I help scale and grow. And um, that obstacle immediately needed to be addressed because I simply asked him, well, why don't you just do all of your marketing and advertising yourself? He kind of explained to me that he didn't have the knowledge or resources to be able to do it. So I said, well, why don't you just hire and train somebody else yourself internally? And he said, well, he didn't want to, you know, go through that hassle or problem of actually doing it. So through strategic pushback questions, it led him to the natural reality that he either needed to get over this hump of trusting somebody else to help him with his marketing and advertising, or he had to continue to stay in the same situation that he was at, getting the same crappy results with his marketing and advertising. So you have to challenge people inside of that process. The fourth one is confidence in the ability that they can actually solve that problem. In other words, they have to have a belief that the problem that they're trying to accomplish, they have to believe that their situation can turn around for their business, their life, whatever product is it is that they are actually are trying to solve or the products or services that you actually offer prospects. They have to believe that there is a way of being able to solve the problem. Now it's a matter of helping them to understand why your services or products are the best one. The next optical oftentimes has to do with timing people's timing inside of their life, timing inside of the business, really understanding the time frame as far as from an urgency for that person, as well as being in a right time to actually make the decision to actually move forward. That's an obstacle that needs to be challenged up front. The next obstacle that you'll oftentimes come across is just the fear of actually doing something different. You know, fear is an interesting component when it comes to somebody investing their time, money, and resources. I've learned that in sales and when somebody's trying to make particularly 
you know, a, a buying decision. Fear does two things to people. It will motivate them to get out of their situation that they're in, or it will paralyze them. So obstacles are things that you as a salesperson, when you're selling your services or products, you have to address up front in order to be able to resolve as many possible concerns or objections that you get to the very end. See, I oftentimes hear a lot of sales reps or sales trainers talk about handling objections and handling objections. If you're, there's one thing that you can learn inside of this video is that the better that you can do when you're selling your services and products to handle obstacles inside of the sales process, the easier it is to close people. People oftentimes think it's so, you know, nerve wracking and scary to ask somebody for payments. When you handle obstacles in the front of your sales presentation and you do a good job at it, sales and closing people or closing deals is a natural byproduct of the fact that you've helped them to overcome all of the obstacles that they have prior to making the decision to move forward with you. And the last obstacle oftentimes is previous experience. Okay, if it's previous experience where they've purchased other products or services, I had this very, very similar experience where I had, was talking to a customer that had just got done working with a previous agency. You know, we were offering our agency services or products and um, they'd had a, a bad experience. So they came into the conversation under the pretense of that all agencies didn't know what they were doing from a marketing and advertising. That had to be addressed at the very beginning in order for me to move forward to even figure out whether or not they would be a good fit to work for for our company. So I had to handle that objection or that obstacle at the very beginning before I even allowed it to be an obstacle at the very end, uh, right there at the beginning of the actual sales call. So guys, if you'll handle the obstacles, now everybody's business, is different. Everybody's obstacles are, are, can be different based off of the products or services. My recommendation to you is really sit down and write down what are all of the obstacles that prevent people from moving forward and put that inside of your scripting process during the find out the goal setting stage of your scripting process to really to be able to address all of the potential obstacles that they may have prior to even getting into pricing or offering your services. And you guys are gonna to start to see your closing rate significantly increase. As always, you guys, click the like button, smash the follow, uh, subscribe. Also, write down any comments below in the description. I'm happy to be able to answer any questions or shoot future videos in the future uh, addressing those concerns. Thanks guys, have a good day.